Hi, my name's Hannah and I'm the co-author of this gorgeous little book, Everything Alice. And today I'm going to show you how to make the red velvet cupcake recipe from the book. So first things first, this recipe is in two stages. So we'll make the cupcakes, the chocolate cupcakes, and then we'll make the tiny little crowns that go on top. So the first thing you need to do is set your oven to 180 degrees. So now we've got the oven warming up nicely, let's make our cupcake. So I'll just get rid of her. Put her on there. So what we need in here is we've got 170 grams of self-raising flour and I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt into that and then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder and we just give that a quick mix around just to blend them in. So we just set that one aside and now we need to make our red in our red velvet. So what we need to do is we need to get some cocoa powder. I've got a nice big jar of it there. And we just add two heaped tablespoons into this bowl here. So the reason these are called red velvet cupcakes is because the cocoa that we used to use was unrefined and it used to turn the batter red but now we have to add a bit of food colouring to make that happen so the best thing to do is use natural food colouring because you do need to use quite a lot of it so we just pour him in and you need about 30 millilitres so you just keep pouring and pouring in and that should be about enough there so I just set him aside and then we just mix that together so it kind of forms a paste it goes into this really kind of gorgeous, silky, dark chocolate, thick paste. So we just have to kind of give it quite a stir, just to get it all mixed in together. And you have to be a bit brutal with it, actually. And we don't want any lumps in there whatsoever. And as you can see, it's sort of gone this kind of thick, dark, red, gorgeous chocolatiness in there. So now we've done that, we need to set him aside as well. Get rid of that. And in this bowl, I blended 170 grams of caster sugar and 55 grams of butter. And to this, I'm going to add one egg. I'm just going to mix them in. Just mix them around like that. And then to this one, we're also going to add a little bit of vanilla essence. This Madagascan vanilla is always the best one to use. So we just add a bit of this in there. Splash them in. So just give that another mix around like that. So we start combining our three bowls together. So what we need to do is we need to combine our paste to get as much of that off as possible because it is quite sticky and gooey. But it will taste delicious. So we just mix that in with that. Just give it a really good old mix. And as you can see, it's starting to go that really beautiful deep red velvet chocolate colour that your cupcakes will turn later on. And just keep stirring it around so there's no lumps whatsoever. So once we've done that, we shall, once we've done that, we now mix this in with our flour. So we just scrape that into there and try and get in as much as possible. And then we just stir that in like so. And just be a bit careful because the flour can kind of puff up everywhere. Then your whole kitchen ends up covered in flour and you'll be scraping it off ages. Look, just did it myself. Okay, so you just keep mixing round and then this mixture will be quite dry. So we will then add in our buttermilk. And so we give that a really good stir again. So we mix all the mixture together and get it really lovely and light and fluffy. As you can see, it's lightened it up even more and it's just a really delicious. You can really smell the vanilla and the chocolate in there. It's lovely. And it's that really beautiful, bright red colour there. So the last thing we need to do now is we need to do the fun bit. So, not that that hasn't been fun, but you know. So we need to get some vinegar and this is going to make the cupcakes really fluffy and delicious and really light. So we get about half a teaspoon of vinegar, so just a tiny drop. And we get some bicarbonate of soda. And this is quite a fun one to do. Although I did show my husband this last night and he didn't think it was particularly interesting, but I think it's quite a fun one to do. So you get about half a teaspoon in there and just watch it fizz up. Yeah. 
Do you remember that TV advert? Must be the baking soda. <laughs> well, that always reminds me of that. So basically, what we do now is we just pour this into our mixture. And it might seem quite a strange thing to do to add vinegar, but what that does is it just really makes the, the cakes rise really, really well. So just pop that in there. And we just give that a good old mix around again. And don't worry, the vinegar smell goes straight away. You wouldn't even know it was in there. Honestly, believe me, I'm a cook. Okay, so that is mixed in. And we need to now, now our mixture's ready, we need to spoon that into our cupcakes. And I've chosen these sort of metallic-y cases, which go really well with the sort of red velvet theme. And a great way to measure out the size of the dollops that you put into your cases is to use an um, ice cream scoop, because you get quite an even, an even amount in each of them. So I just scoop them out, about that sort of much, and you just put them in there, and just right into the middle of the cupcake cases. So just make sure that you blob those into the middle of your cases. And this recipe will make about 12 cupcakes. So when that's done, you need to put them in the oven for 20 minutes and just put them in the middle of the oven. So now they're in the oven, we've got the fun bit to make. We're going to make the little crowns go on top. So this is how we make our gorgeous little crowns go on top of our cakes. So what I've done is I've bought some glittery card. I've got this lovely golden colour here. And from the Domestic Sluts website, you need to download the crown pattern, which is this pattern here. You can see I've just drawn out in pencil on the card. So once you've drawn that out, I, you need to draw them out 12 times to cover all your cupcakes that you're baking now in your oven. So draw that out and cut that out so you get this crown shape revealed. As you can see, we'll, we'll bend that in a second. But what I've done just to make it that extra bit special, you don't have to do this section, but I think it looks really pretty, is I've got one of these little hole punches here and you can get them from most craft stores. It's quite a small one. I'm not sure how big it is, about a centimetre. And I'm just going to hole punch the section out of the front here. So we give him a big squash like that. And as you can see, there's a really pretty little heart shape just cut in the front of it. And what I've done is I've taken, I've got some red glittery card here, and I've just cut out a few more hearts that I will then stick on the points of the crown. So just across here and here. So once you've, once you've stuck all of those down, get rid of those, you've then got your heart punch and your little crowns glued across the top revealed. So you, so you can see that there. So you've got all your hearts across the top and then your little heart there revealed. So all we need to do then is just bend that round like that so you can see your little crown shape. Hello. And we need to just staple that in place. Like that. And what I like to do is just shape it a little bit. Push those top sections forward to get more of a quirky shape with them. So, now we've made our crowns, what we need to do is decorate our cakes. So now we need to make really lovely frosting to go on the top, and we're going to make this buttercream frosting. So for this, what I've done is I've whacked 55 grams of butter in there, I've got 120 grams of full fat cream cheese in there, and then I've got about 170 grams of icing sugar. Mix that all in, and then just add a little bit of vanilla for flavour. So we need to pipe this on. So I've already made this little piping bag up and I'm using the star nozzle which is about a centimetre and a half wide on there so we just squeeze a bit of that out and these just take a tiny bit of icing so they're just a little kiss on top like that little flower shapes on top so you just hold them down hold them in one position and just pull up and just hold it down and pull up we do this to all our cakes, and they're beginning to look really beautiful. I can't wait to put their little crowns on them. So all that's left to do is to serve your cakes up onto your plate. I'm just going to put three on this little one, and then add your gorgeous little crowns. I like them just slightly on the side, so just pop them like that. And just for the piece de resistance, I'm going to add these little sparklers into the side just for a bit of fun. And then we're going to turn the lights off and watch them glow. 